Hello Mini Pilots! In this video we are going to be looking at how to achieve this effect. Now we're going to be doing this in DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is a free piece of software and I've got a video of how to download this for free in the top right hand corner now or in the description down below. So let's get started. Okay guys, so at this point I've opened up DaVinci Resolve and I've got the folder open with the file I want to use. So what I'm going to do is grab the file and drop it straight into the media pool. And I'm going to click change to make sure the frame rates match. And then we can get rid of this window. And then I'm going to go down the bottom here. And I'm going to click on this little icon here, which is the editing screen. Uh, from here, I'm then going to go up to the top and I'm going to double click the piece of footage. Okay, so if we scroll through now, we can see what we have. Now all I want is a few seconds of the C like this. So on the keyboard, I'm going to press I which is going to mark in as a section we want to select. And then I'm going to press spacebar and this will play through the footage. Now I'm going to let this play until the clip changes. So I don't want the little orange boy in this video, so I'm going to draw back using the mouse. And then I'm just going to click O here. And this is going to be the section of video that we're going to use. So now, once I've done that, I'm going to drag the screen and drop it into the timeline down below. So now, if I press spacebar and play through, we can see the footage I have. Lovely. Okay, so uh, now we're going to need to add a mirror effect. So to do this, we are going to go up here to the effects library. And then we are going to go into open effects. Then we're going to scroll down until we come across mirror, which is right near the bottom. Usually, where is it? Here it is. So I'm going to grab a mirror effect and I'm going to drop it onto the footage. So once I've done that, you'll see the little FX box come here, which means the effect is on there. And if we have a look now in this window here, we can see that it's symmetrical. But that's not what we're after. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click up here on the inspector. And then we're going to go to open effects. And this is going to give us all the options of the things we can edit in the effects menu. So for, for this beginner's tutorial, I'm not going to go into too much depth with this. So what I'm doing here is we want an individual mirror and we can change the X and Y position. So if I move the X backwards and forwards, this is going to move the uh, vertical line backwards and forwards. And then if I move the Y position backwards and forwards, it's not going to do anything because I don't have it at an angle. And then if I move the angle backwards and forwards, we can now see we've got something quite drastic happening. So from here, if we put this at 45 degrees, we've got a bit of a waterfall going on. And then from here, I can move the X or Y position, and this will actually change whereabouts the waterfall starts. Uh, now, another thing we can do is we can also uh, flip the uh, angle and make it uh, minus 45 degrees. And this will make it look like the water's flowing up. So from here, we can then move the Y position and move it across. And then we've got this huge wall of water. And if we go back to the beginning and press spacebar, we can see what we've got. Now there are options we can go to, so we can change the mirror placement to a rosette. We can move some of the uh, options around and we can get some different effects. So there we go, if we have a little play, let's see what we can come up with. Uh, <laughs> this one might make you feel a bit sick, so maybe don't try this setting. And then we've also got Kaleidoscope. For now, I'm going to leave it like this. Okay, so once we're happy with that, you might want to quickly colour grade it. If you go down to the bottom here and press the colour grading icon, uh, look for the curves. We can quickly just make it a bit bolder, put a bit more contrast in there. And I'm going to look at exporting this. And to do that, I'm just going to press deliver. Uh, give it a name. And then save it. And I'm actually going to save this as an MP4 at 1080. 
and I just add to render queue. Once you've added to render queue, you can press start render. And depending on the length of your footage, it depends on how long this will take. And once that's done, we can go into our folder and open it up. And here we can see the final result. I just thought it'd be fun to do something a bit different and see what kind of feedback I get. If this is going in the right direction, give this video a like. If not, leave a comment on something that you'd be interested in, and I'd be happy to give that a go. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope to see you in the next one.